Watch yourself, I'll be on you in a flash! Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. of the blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. the room. 
Brooks. <laughs> Are you a bastard? I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that dirty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel! Hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a might of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk of a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Aim a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork afore we're ready. Now, enough shop talk. Believe Mr. Green said there was someone he wanted to see. <laughs> Blast them. Alec, whatever is the matter? I have been intercepting nothing but poppycock propaganda about soothing, syrup and whatnot. No, I swear to high heavens, if Starrick's monopoly continues... Alec, I beg your pardon. These are friends of mine. Evie Fry and her brother, Jacob. Oh, um... Alexander Graham Bell. Linguist, inventor and technical expert. Alec, I have something of a favor to ask you. Can you fix this? Oh, looks like the casing is cracked. Oh! 
comes apart. <laughs> I see. Could have used one of these to fit my fuses on top of Big Ben. Alec is installing a new telegraph line for our Free Press Association. To combat the static telegraph company. Now, if I can mend the fuses connecting independent lines from Big Ben, Staric will be weakened. Only we are somewhat at a handicap. And there. Yeah. Oh, I've removed the mechanism, so it may work with your bracer. I'll put it to use immediately. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Mr. Bell, allow me to help you with your fuses. Oh. You will not find me too proud to accept Miss Fry. Oh, uh, we can use my carriage if you'd be so good as to hold the reins, though. I'll take that. Um, I, I can help you. Oh, Miss Fry, I am so glad you could assist me. You really ought to be here by now. I see. I hope you understood. I meant today. Atta girl. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I'm going to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just invade dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. Yeah. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the static telegraph line. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have their lines sabotaged, and they have little means of finding any broken fuses, which are... ...to be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one needs a special government task to get through the guard. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the fuses. What was that? I think I heard Lovely view. set.
That should do it. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works. Your place. Right. Your 
Ha! <laughs> 